Hello everyone, greetings from Sunstorm Pax, and welcome to the latest stop motion review. And today, we're going to be reviewing War for Cybertron Siege Sideswipe. For real this time. Sideswipe is one of the first new figures from the new Siege toy line. I could describe the Siege toy line in many ways, but seeing as this is Sideswipe's video, not Siege's overall, I'm just going to have to say that all the toys basically confer to this overall theme of G1, but Cybertronian. And awesome! And this is certainly what Sideswipe Alt Mode is. Sideswipe transforms into a Cybertronian version of a Lamborghini Countach, and my, I'm impressed with this thing. Normally when Hasbro says they're going to do Cybertronian Alt Modes, it's just an excuse to get lazy and say, oh, but they're Cybertronian, they're not going to look like Earth cars, they can just be blobs with wheels. But no, this is trying. This is a Countach. If I were to see this in real life, I would just think Countach. I wouldn't think Cybertronian, I'd think Countach. I am so in love with this thing. Just to prove that he's pretty much indistinguishable from Lamborghinis, let's compare him to some. Now, I don't have an actual Countach on me, but I do have its replacement, the Diablo. And the modern equivalent, the Aventador. And seeing as I've already started comparisons, let's compare him to some of the Siege figures, like Hound. And that doesn't scale well. Either side type's too big, or Hound's too small. Or probably both. In fact, side type actually doesn't really scale well with anyone. The closest I could find was Cypher's B, and even then not really. Now, the Siege Toyland does have an overall gimmick, and it's a very simple, yet fun one, which I'm surprised hasn't actually been delved into properly before. Each figure is covered with these 5mm ports, which allows you to put weapons in them. Now, in vehicle mode, Sideswipe only has three, which isn't a lot compared to some of the other figures. But it's still cool, because you get to have a tank car with missiles on the side, so he can easily hold his own against giant Decepticon brutes. Okay, I think that's the vehicle mode done, so time for transformation. Which, while not overly complex, is not overly simple and great fun to do. And after the transformation, Sidesife's bottom mode is... Oh, so gorgeous. This is G1. I'm struggling to think how much more G1 you can get than this before you get into the masterpiece. In fact, this is pretty much rivaling the masterpiece. It's got everything. The giant Autobot sticker, the front becoming the chest, the proportions, I mean, even the head sculpts. That thing is sideswipes all the way. Man, it's cool. However, there is a small niggle. It's nothing major. In fact, I'm not even sure it actually counts as a problem. But due to what he transforms into, he's back looks a bit strange, and from the side he looks overly thin. However, that is not going to stop me from loving this guy because he is just so cool. Coming on to accessories, Sidesipe comes with a missile launcher. Now, you've got options with what to do with this thing. You can have it held as a blaster, you can take the missile out and have two separate weapons, or you can do what you're supposed to do with it, and mount it on his shoulder. Now, remember that gimmick I was telling you about earlier, with the 5mm ports? Well, it carries on here, but better. While in vehicle mode he had 3 ports, here he has 11. Now the whole point of this is that there are certain characters in the line, such as COG, who can split apart and form different weapons for these guys. Unfortunately I don't have a COG yet, but I can do the same with normal weapons, so I can show you he has 5mm ports in his hands, his arms, his shoulders, his legs, on his back, he even has them on his feet, so he can wear little shoe guns all over the place, or perform missions for Optimus Prime. The Septicons attack! Breach their defenses! Crush the Autobots! Optimus Prime shall- Wait, what? Where do you come from? Hey! Get that back! Whee! When I get my hands on you, I will- So, time for articulation. Hit Rotate 360, kind of look up, kind of look down, and best of all, it can tilt. So he can shrug. Arm can Rotate 360, and move out. 
bicep swivel, 90 degree bend, and the hands can move in. Waist can rotate 360, legs move forward, backwards, and out. Knee can bend, and best of all, ankle tilt, and lots of it, which means he can be a bridge, or skid onto the scene. He's also really good for other poses such as pointing and shooting, pointing and shooting, skidding and shooting, superhero pose, looking cool, flirting with the girls. He's just a sexy bot, sexy bot. Or just chilling out. You can even recreate that scene from G1. It's my turn, side swipe. Oh, I'm not really tired, but go ahead. Whoa, 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 okay, enough of that. My studio's already been through quite a lot. Let's get on to size comparisons. Here's Siege Hound, Flywheels, Megatron, and Optimus Prime, and... Wow, I've got to give the Siege credit. This is brilliant scaling between all of them. So... That was my review for Siege Sidetype. He is an absolutely awesome figure and the one that I really recommend you pick up. He looks great, he's really fun, his transformation's nice, he's got a great alt mode, very poseable. He's just... a lot of people have been saying that the Siege is masterpiece quality and... I honestly don't see how much better a masterpiece can be. This has been Sunstorm Packs. So... Who gets reviewed next? Choice is up to you. Here you see all the characters who I'm letting you choose from. All you have to do is let me know down in the comments. If you don't know the character's name, that's absolutely fine. I'll include the names down in the description, and I'm not expecting a reason why. Just pick who you want it to be. While you're down there, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.